But when you sit and talk about the Indian railways, you know, you first and foremost you look at the vastness of Indian railways, and and I think uh, the government of India uh, should be hugely credited with the way the system operates in our country. Uh, for me, I look at it in another way. They are the biggest employers of people uh, in this in this country, and it's and it's such a huge bonus for for the population of our country who gets jobs. You know, even from being from a cricketing background. I know the role they play in terms of giving jobs to cricketers. Uh, the railways, Ranji Trophy side, uh, who employ players uh, to work for them and play first-class cricket. Uh, the Metro Railway uh, and the various forms of other railway jobs which are created uh, for various young individuals in this country. And congratulations to all who are involved in this. Uh, I've been asked to speak about my experiences in the railways. You know, when you grew up, and when I grew up, in and now you, when you see the aeroplanes, the, the luxury flights, the travel, it was not the same 20 years ago when I started playing. You know, cricket was different. Uh, cricket was without IPL, cricket was with, without those big television numbers. So when I started, I remember going everywhere around the country in, in the railways. It's changed a lot. Uh, it's improved immensely in the modern day. And I've got some great experiences traveling on the train. My brother, my elder brother, uh, is a businessman, a very successful one. He still wants to travel on, on the railways. And I ask him why. He says, you know, when I go to Delhi, uh, it's very easier to take a two-hour flight and get to Delhi. But I enjoy the Rajdhani in the night. You know, you sleep, it's peaceful, you're not hassled, and you wake up in the morning and go to work. Well, I don't agree with that because I'm... I am a little time constrained and, and, and I don't like sitting idle or I rather sleep in my room in the house rather than rather than in the railways. But my experiences with railways has been remarkable. And right from the days going to Dhanbad uh, in the small train from Kolkata to, uh, to, to Dhanbad, uh, whether going to Delhi uh, and, uh, and being a part of it. Uh, you know, the reservations were not always very easy to get because we were a team of 20 and we used to play knockout tournaments. So, it's not like a holiday where you know when you're going and when you're coming back. So the tickets are booked accordingly. But when you played and you traveled on the railways, you did not know which day you would return. So there have been instances when I've returned from places like Patiala, uh, where 20, one, 20 of us shared one, uh, one, uh, one bed, one bunk, as they say in a train, because we couldn't get reservations. The seats were booked. We did not know which way we would travel, whether we would lose or win. But it was fun in that. You know, you take your turns and sleep. Uh, and, and, and the other pushes you up and say, get up, it's my turn to sleep. So there was fun in that. I've even travelled in railways. Uh, I remember for a Durga Puja, we lost in Hyderabad and I wanted to get back home. Getting seats on Air India those days wasn't easy. So I said, I'm going to get up and see what happens. And for two days, I travelled without a seat. But it was it was fun, you know, a different way of, of, of leading a life. Get down in various stations, pick food. The food in the railways. The food in the railways has always been very very good you order the food when you get up and it's like a bit of a picnic when you're when you're in a team and traveling from one place to the another my wife still travels on on the train with her group whether she's going to Orissa, especially when she's going to Bhuvaneshwar but ODC dance uh, takes her many a number of times she used, still uses the railways with her team but uh, it's been fun you know some of the trains I used to come from Siliguri, the Darjeeling Mail, very, very comfortable. You know, I had a very dear friend and, and we used to travel together uh, once we got to get back from Siliguri. So great experiences. I always wanted to see how a train robbery takes place. And I've seen that in movies, but I've never experienced it. I've never experienced it. Not that I'm too unhappy that I've not experienced it, but uh, but that is something which I've always seen in movies. Uh, and not like not like the film of Hrithik Roshan where you jumped in and out of the train and you came from the top, you ran on a running train. I never experienced that, but the experiences with Indian Railways has been has been super. Some of the fast trains, some of the bullet trains. You know, I, I travel a lot to England and I see the trains in that part of the world. Obviously, the country is different, the weather is different and, and the cold weather doesn't make you feel that bad. But our trains in India are as good as it. I've never been on the Palace on the Wheels, which they go around in Rajasthan. I know me and my wife keep talking about it, that someday we may get onto the Palace on the Wheels, but it has never happened. I'm told it's as good as the five-star facilities. Hopefully someday we will be on it. So great experiences on the train, with, especially with a group of friends. You know, there's no better fun when you don't have work and when you're on the on the Indian railways going to any part of the world. My first, first travel in the railways was to Kulu Manali, you know, the Jammu Express, I get down, I think, I think at uh, 
somewhere in Punjab. I can't remember the place. Uh, I think Amritsar, or maybe a one stop behind after Amritsar, and then take a car to go to Jammu and 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 then to Manali was was fascinating. So great memories with the Indian Railways, and congratulations to the Ministry for looking after so many people, for creating this facility for our population because not many can afford the flights with the way they are expensive these days. And thank you for serving the people.